Hello there, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you're doing well in this time. These will be general messages, okay? I typically read for the sign Cancer, so the messages may resonate more with you because we've been um, dabbling in one another's energy, so to speak, so your frequency is high here, but still. I do feel like I'm reading for a person. So these are general messages. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So do take the ones that apply and the rest of them fly. If the messages resonate with you, please um, hit the thumbs up button to show your support. Um, you can also share the, vi the video with those you love and subscribe th to the channel if you have not yet done so. All of your support is appreciated. All right, so now let's get into this message. Tell you, okay, let's begin here with the moon card. A secret. It was something you didn't see. It was held from you. The moon card is also a surprise. For me, it feels that way. So it's a secret and it is a surprise at the same time what is going to happen. And this may be happening today because my intention upon shuffling these cards was to get messages for the outcome for the rest of today. So listen carefully. This could have something to do with a goal you've always wanted to accomplish, whether this is a business, a dream, or a house, a marriage or a relationship, okay? The four of wands is marriage or home energy. You were on your way there. You were, you were looking good. I feel like the original light belongs to you. You've powered up beautiful like, I like that. Thank you, I found that. You found your power with the nine of pentacles. We don't know how you got there. Anything cancer or oh. <laughs> anything collective body. But I'm reading for people that have found their power. Maybe it was an awakening, whatever it is that you experienced. But you were looking good, radiant, single. I feel like you were really on your journey. You were learning more about yourself. Someone came into your life and interfered with that vibration. And this person came um, to, they saw your light and they wanted to captivate it. They wanted to use you, to steal from you, to steal from your energy and your money, all of that. So we're talking about sex, we're talking about money, and we're talking about well-being overall. You see how vibrant this nine of pentacles appears? They saw that and they wanted that. It's like someone, a thief. This person is, has red eyes, you know, it's, a, it's the energy of someone who is an original thief that sees someone walking with a bling watch on their hand and is like the urge to steal this energy, this wealth, this watch is so enticing that they begin to follow this person just to steal the energy, just to get that watch. It's the energy of a thief that has to steal because they feel... I don't know why they steal, but I feel like this person feels luck or that's just how they do. Okay. This person could have also been recruited to come toward you like this because you were shining. You were glowing up. Like I see some empowerment took place for you. Um, something angelic awoke in you. You were feeling good with the Knight of Pentacles energy, the Knight of Cups energy here. But this is where the disturbance happened with the Knight of Swords. You were almost at the finish line, whether this was a soulmate relationship or a twin flame or as I say, your home, your comfort, you were almost through the line. You see that? But this disturbance happened right that, at that time. Maybe you met this person who appears as the hermit, Virgo, vibration, earth sign. So this person, maybe one that the energy I'm getting off of this person is they, they laugh a lot. They are, they, they're outgoing. When they came around you, the first time they were, they showed you something different. Maybe they, they talked about spirituality with you because we, it, the Virgo is also, or the hermit is also an enlightened person, you know, because they spend time alone, meditating, introspecting. So this person has in, in, intel into the, into the secrets, you know, you know what I mean? Secrets of emotions and all of that. So I feel like they use those cards, so to speak, you know, to get into your space. Um, I don't want to make this reading longer than it seems to be, but the energy is 
what was taken from you is going to be given back to you reluctantly by the same person that stole it from you because justice has intervened. Justice is very upset. I don't know what happened. Some Something ended, a destruction, something happened drastically, maybe an ending for you two in a relationship perhaps. And justice was called, the police, the court, whatever. Okay. But um, I feel like you know, Justice is so upset at this person. They did not give up on you. They, I feel like this, as if this energy is what they, they commanded this person to, 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 to show, to be honest. You know what I mean? I'm getting the energy of this person raising the, the spotlight on you reluctantly to, to give you back your things. It's that energy like they're reluctantly giving you back that light. They didn't want to. It's the energy of a child that got caught taking something that didn't belong. And he had to be dragged by his parents to the people to return the things reluctantly. You know? Um, that's what you were dealing with. So this is the same person. This is an earth sign. This person presented as wealthy. Now, I want you to look at how this person is clad in green, prosperity, all of that. I want you to know that all of that is almost like it really does not belong to this person. You know those videos that you may come upon on Facebook with shoplifters that store the items in their clothes and they just keep wheeling out shampoo. Like they can't imagine the things these people are storing on their body parts that don't belong to them. Yeah, this is the energy of this one. They stole from you and just as demanded that they return it. Now this is your energy I see here with the Queen of Pentacles. This is how you feel receiving these things. It feels good getting back what deserve what you deserve. I was about to say what deserves to you, but what you deserve. It feels nice. But at the same time you're you're not really saying anything you're quiet. It's almost like you can't believe it. You didn't even know that these things were missing as if this these things belong to you. So let me tell you something even deeper. It could be the energy of a person taking out, like creating an insurance policy for you behind your back and, and somehow getting money off of you like that. I'm not sure how that would work. Maybe something having to do with a house or a home or just a living situation. And when you look at this person, they always appeared as wealthy as having. But I feel like they were somehow using your energy, maybe you were married to this person, okay, um, to take away from you what truly belonged to you. So you as the queen of pentacles, when you receive this, you're like, whoa, all of this belongs to me. I had, and it's like it's yours by birthright, your inheritance. It's the energy of a child who's family member betray them and took their wealth without even telling them that listen this is your birthright this is what you really deserve this is how much money you have so it's almost like yeah you're receiving your wealth it's coming back into your world the energy feels pregnated yes the queen of pentacles and the world energy it feels like a pregnancy it's like sitting there feeling so full but emotionally numb so to speak at the same time oh my god someone is about to cry so it's like a surprise but it was a secret that's the theme of this reading with the moon something was a secret but what you're going to get is going, something is going to surprise you um so yeah this person is returning it to you i feel like you even there's a time when you gave something in particular to this person, maybe your love, your time, your attention, it could be as simple as that energy that you've been working on on your own. You just loan it to them. Maybe you had some money and they said, you know, let me hold on to this money for you, something valuable, precious, and you gave it to them. Maybe it was your sense of self-love. You, you trusted this person, you found confidence in them, reliance, and they assured you that it's going to be okay. You know, maybe um, coming back to the insurance policy behind your back, maybe you offer this person up some of your personal information or you sign some documents or something. Okay, but you didn't know that this, is, this was their plan. Okay, now you know because I feel like justice is powerfully on your side here. 
there's one person or thing or an establishment that keeps watching and investigating this situation. I'm not sure it, how it was brought to light in the first place, but it was. So this person is either going to come around to you and make a confession, but they have to show, it's like they have to shine the light on you and you're going to be so surprised when you see it. You realize it's you. It's like being up on stage and the, the spotlight shining on you and you're like, me? Yeah, it's you. Something is coming for you. Okay. You could be earth sign or water sign. Okay. Now I see your intuition has been telling you something. You may have uh, dreams or just your feelings of something. Uh, maybe it's a particular person. Maybe you know who this justice, this law or this justice energy is that I'm referring to. Maybe your intuition is telling you. Maybe your intuition is also like broadening. You're getting this like mind-blowing feeling as you realize all that's been happening. It's like you really missed all of this. So it's like my, it's kind of like that surprise feeling when you get this enlightenment or an awareness of what's been really happening and it's being shown to you by this justice energy. This justice energy, let me tell you, it's also very um, spiritually based when it comes to wrong from right and the fairness of the universe and what's done wrong must be corrected. Yeah, so it's like karma, basically. And this motherfucker, sorry, this karma needs to be served hard. You know what I mean? That's how this justice energy feels. It's like it can't wait to be served. So this person, someone is going to get served um, and it's this person okay and then someone is going something is going to be exposed and made a right all right um so yeah something was definitely being stolen with the star card but restoration is here it's also it's healing it's loss healing it's angelic vibration as well it's i love this star card it's like going to a space of dreams where healing takes place where there is water beauty stars music Everything that heals the mind and the body, the spirit. That's what the star, that's a location that I picture with the star card. Okay, so that's all that's taking place. So it feels like healing on many different levels coming together for you. All right, it's like unbelievable with the world card. All of this transformation taking place. And it has something to do with your home, your house, or a marriage, a union. Okay, well, the Hierophant here could, as I say, could have been a, a contract that was signed perhaps but with the justice i feel like you now have the power in your hand to really break any contract or make any contract anything you want to do the power is in your hand because you now have the awareness with the ace of swords that you it's like your birthright the christ consciousness vibration with the ace of swords the truth the force of love or hate in this position is going to be love that you're going with I feel like you're going to go toward whatever is coming toward you with love. You know, it's going to be humility. I ask you to consider your virtues here. You know, to continue receiving your blessings. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is so beautiful to see. It's like that energy I was saying earlier with shoplifters. Like you're just seeing things coming out and out and out of parts of them that they were storing, the things that they stole. The Ten of Pentacles feels like when you open up this bag, Queen of Pentacles, like this is all you see and you're still shocked. You're still amazed at how much. You're looking at this person that was stealing from you like, it's almost like you can't even look at them, but you're feeling, it's like finally dawning on you what's been going on around you. Who this person is they feel like um a kind of a fox energy like cunning like this is just what this person does you know and i feel like you're not going to take it personally you know it's like you know that this is just what this person you realize this is what they do i feel like you may not be the first victim of something like this okay um and i feel like it helps that you brought justice to this situation you help to bring light because your intuition told you all along and i like this so what was told in is being restored we've been seeing this theme so um 
I do hope you found some clarity here in these messages that can help you along your journey. Remember, hit the like button if that is the case. Much love. Appreciate the support. So you like the video and support at the same time. That is cool, right? So thank you. Uh, what else? I also really like the Hierophant. It's talking about contracts, marriage. So it's either breaking one or making one. Okay. And then we see like soulmate-ish vibration here with the king and the queen of pentacles and the six of cups. So you did attract this person. I feel like you had love for this person. There was something in you that attracted this person to you. Maybe it was just your wealth vibration. But I'm just saying this person is just materially focused. They were like I feel detached from source love really kind of energy. You know. So even though I could tell you that they didn't mean to hurt you you as a soul which they would are they if they did because they probably would have drained their entire soul if you let them you know well you know oh gosh <clears throat> or your entire bank account whatever it is i mean this is serious with the justice energy and the stories like this person I'm telling you behind your back you know they have to present something to you Maybe they're going to present some papers to you to show you the truth. All right, but we will see. I'm leaving these messages here. Thank you so much for coming through to this show. I will see you in the next one. Remember that you should dream big because you are all and all is within you. You can be to have everything and anything in this world you desire, my darling. Uh, much love. I feel you're happy. Now I'm looking at the Queen of Pentacles. I feel smiles coming over your face. Hey, I do like that. It's like you're smiling. It's. I feel like you're realizing you can fulfill a dream, something that you've always wanted. It feels like a blessing, like you're thankful, grateful, like things have turned out, turned out like this, something like that, okay? Um, you may have a Pisces around you, an intuitive person, or like I say, it's just your sharp intuition. Or your foresight your telepathic abilities you do get downloads you know i feel like you're an old soul and there could be someone from your soul old soul family wanting to return some way shape or form or maybe this is just this person returning this thing to you there could be traveling exploration moving to new cities but beautiful 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 right much love on your way out my darling hit the like button share subscribe leave a comment i'll see you in the next one Take care, bye.